Another programming example of the ULB48. The customer wants the end modules to be amber in flashing mode and the center eight modules to be blue. And then in traffic director mode, they want the end modules to be flashing blue and the center modules to be traffic director left, right, or center out. So we will go through what is required to make that happen step by step. First, we're going to enable the flashing amber heads, and we're going to want to disable these two end modules so that they don't flash with the blue, because that's what they want. So I'm going to press the enable button on top here one time. Disables the two end modules. I'm going to turn off the amber flashing and turn on the orange with green wire, which is blue, one of the blue flashing enables. I'm going to cycle through this button the phase or head enable until I get the exact opposite, which is the two end, end heads only being enabled. I am then going to change the pattern of this. Well, let's first we'll connect the amber and the blue together. Let's see what you got. So, doing just that, you get the Amber's only flashing in the interspersed pattern because of the pattern it happens to be on, and then the blues in that pattern. So we're going to change it to a pattern that makes more sense for this setup by taking the red with green wire and holding it to 12 volts until it flashes once, and then hit it one more time. Okay, and then I am going to change the phase until it makes sense. Pressed it one time. Now the blues are alternating with the ambers. That would be the most logical way to do it. Um, you can change that pattern so it's more attention getting. But that's just a standard single flash pattern. There's more of them in there. So the next thing we're going to do is tie those wires back so we've they're done now. And I am going to enable traffic director mode. Okay. And I am going to disable the two end module, just like I did before, for traffic director mode so that I can have the blue on. Pressing the button one time, the head enable button one time. So now the center eight modules will flash whatever traffic director pattern we have. And then I'm going to go into program mode. <clears throat> and you'll see that, that in program, this is the cycle setup, which you look at one of the other more detailed videos, it'll tell you more about what that means. But basically it means that if you have both a blue enable or whatever other color you happen to be enabled, along with the traffic director, enable, it would cycle the blues pattern across the whole light X number of times, depending on what the setting is for, and then it will cycle the traffic director X number of times, depending on what the cycle is set for. So we want to disable that because that's not the way that they want this to work, and that is going to be the pattern select wire. You can see it moving across here, I want to make it so that none of the lights are on. So I just pressed it until it got to the end there. And I'll come out of program mode. And then I will turn on the green, orange with red wire. Okay. So now you can see the blue is flashing and the traffic director is running. <coughs> You can change your traffic director pattern to whatever you'd like by using the red with green wire. I like that one. Okay. So, I am going to twist those wires together because they are all set. So now you can see the orange 
with green and white with brown is going to enable your warning pattern. And then the traffic director depends on what you want left, right, center out. But no matter what you have of those things, the orange with red wire is going to be enabled and that'll enable your end flashes. So, okay, that's about it. Um, now this does take a little bit of time, but once you have one of them set up, you can go in and use a cord and send whatever settings you have over to other ones. So if you had 25 cars you had to do, do this once, and then just press a couple buttons and it'll send your setting right over.